So they say you have 30 seconds or less today. Again, going back to that, you don't have a lot of time to get in that, yes, we wanna interview you pile. So again, your goal, when you, when you submit a resume and write a cover letter and whatever else they're asking for, you know, your goal is to get in the yes pile or the maybe pile, but, you do, but not the no. Um, so again, you want to make a really good first impression. Um, a good, um, I always encourage my students and the, and, the, and the clients that I counsel, you know, when you write a resume, give it to somebody and give them, and I use between 15 and 20 seconds and ask them for feedback. To say, what did you remember? What what stood out? Um, and again, you're hoping that they're gonna that they're gonna say things that are really relevant to the job or sp specific skills you have, experiences that make you stand out. Maybe some awards, whatever. But but things that 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 impress them. Again, the goal is to impress them to get interviewed, to get in that yes, we wanna we wanna interview you. Um, so. Also, you know, just keep in mind too that just because you might have the skills and requirements the job is asking, um, you still, you know, you might not, you know, it might not still impress them enough. So, but hopefully it will. Again, you know, you never know too when you're applying, when we're applying for jobs, you never know how many candidates are also applying for that one job. It could be five, it could be 50, it could be 300, you know, depending on the job. So, um, Again, but your job is to convince them in whatever ways you can that you're that you're a great candidate for that job. So in and, and, and really short time in a really short amount of time.